All right, sticking with tools of the trade and basic rope work, but stepping away from knots for a second, I want to look at uh, how we look after our ropes and stop them from fraying and making a mess. Now, traditionally, our abseil ropes are made out of nylon, and with a nylon rope, you can normally just use a hot knife, cut the end off, and then seal it by melting the edges. But with some of the, some of the more modern ropes, like your aramide sheath on a polyester core, which won't melt, or uh, a spectra core with a polyester jacket, you can't rely just on melting. Now, you'll find, so this one's been melted, but the, the core has milked and started to come out. So what we, what we do is just a short whipping. Now, I use specialized wax whipping for twine, but you can get away with just a, you know, Bricky's twine will do the same thing. So all we do, I've sealed this one off, just neaten it up so it doesn't have any sharp edges on it because they're annoying. So we've resealed the end, um, which should be enough, but like I said, we've had a problem with the jacket uh, milking back and the core poking out, so we don't want that, so I'm going to whip it. Now I'm going to grab this uh, wax whipping twine. Now, this stuff's probably a little thin for this rope, but if we take a bite and lay it down next to the rope and then make whippings back towards that loop. Now the first one's a little tricky to get it in. So if we go a couple of passes and then start to pull it as tight as we can get it and try not to collapse it like that. Now we want to get them laying nice and neat and parallel. No crosses, and as, like I said, as firm as you can get it. You can't do this too tight, not by hand anyway. And then you want to achieve a whipping that's about as wide as the rope is thick. So we're working with 11 mil rope here in Australia. So I'm just gonna try and get an 11 mil whipping. That'll do there. Now I'll just cut that off and take the tail that I've just cut and I'm going to poke it through this loop that I've left. And lay it down. Now, the original tail that I started with, we're going to pull this. Sitting down. I'm just going to wrap it around a fid here few times, hold the tail, and then you want to pull it until it buries about halfway back inside. Alright, once you've done that, sealed off, you can just nip the tails here. We don't have to melt them because they're cinched down inside. And that will give you a nice sealed end for a hell of a lot longer. That's a short whipping.